got a couple of uh, CTs. So labeling is very vague. Looks 200, 400 to common. I'm just going to test them on this uh, device here on the CT clamp and see what output they come out with. Sorry, some current flowing through. Sparking a bit, so I've got an emitter on here, so it's on a 5 amp setting. I'll ramp it up. Clip on meter on the other side, and then we'll see what readings we get out of this device here. Ramp up to 5 on the CT secondary. So this meter is supposed to be 20 to 5. Stop down a little bit. Three three ninety nine. So that this four hundred to five ratio. Okay, I'll ramp that down on the variac. I think about the, the four hundred tip. So this is supposedly the two hundred tip. So I'm going to test this again. And I should only two hundred amperes should be enough to get the device to run. Open CT, but that's alright. Not much kind of flying at the moment. Hope you can see it. Yeah, I think you do. Okay, we have to get very good. Actually, so much was it arcing? 200 or 20, and we got 206. Variac is a bit coarse. Well, that's 20 versus 5 amps on that meter, and this meter is showing a 186. Plus or minus, hang on, that's dropped off a bit. The meter show 20, that's a 20 to 5 meter. 20 should equal 5 ampere. We've got a cat looking at me. Cookie! Always looking, this cat always interested what's going on. Just had a haircut. The one that meter sits at 195, so close to 200. And I allow for a bit of errors. The rough setup and it does work. I can test the other two CTs. And I want to implement those in the generator, get a better reading on the M meters. So I've just rewound this uh, CT, so that's a 200 to 5 tip I got at the moment, taking out of it. And it on 10 turns on the outside so you can't really 10 loops normally one wire goes through there that means one is 200 but by having 10 through there so you count 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 makes it a 20 to 5 ct and i'm gonna test it and then uh, make three of those and the ammeters have an overshoot to 30 32 ampere so i want to have higher reading ammeters i need to rescale them those Okay, we've got to then turn our energized device. To five there. I'll see what loud I got on it.
21. Uh, 20. Uh, the Fariac is pretty coarse now. I'll check the secondary cars. And the secondary current is 5 ampere, so that's good. 5.4 has gone up a little bit. Now that's good. 22, 5.4. 4.9. Yeah, and I will do I'm happy with that. My show is good. I got a bit of burden on this meter. I'm going to replace these three CTs here, they're 400 to 5, it's a 10 turns, it's 40 to 5. It's gave me a reading 40 to 5, so 60 will be 7.5 amps overshoot. So I'm going to replace these meters and rescale them. Uh, I think you can flip the scales over 0 to 30, because I don't pull per phase more than 30 ampere anyway, and then have these meters on the 20 to 5 scale here, so then have a nice 30 amp reading, get some good uh, high resolution readings. You see better the fluctuations of the devices. Okay, just one by one for the yellow face energized device. About 20 ampere. Uh, let's see what the reading is on this thing here. Nineteen point four on the second day. My Varic is not that accurate, it jumps quite a bit. Five point one here, secondary five point one and the primary is showing twenty one twenty one point seven, that's all right. Turn ratio is okay. Analog tempo test meter sits about 20 up here. Sweet. Well, for now, I got the three CTs modified X200 to 5 ampere. Now 20 to 5 ampere with an overshoot to 30 or 32. So, yeah, really good. Happy with the results. Best will be in a follow up video.